What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Losis Reacts. I'm Tamaj, and today we are on The Walking Dead World Beyond, Season 2, Episode 3, Exit Wounds. Um, so we know, based off the trailer, Elton and Percy are in this episode. Um, so we're kind of catching up with where they left off, which is just basically Elton finding out that Huck was the one that killed Percy's uncle, can't trust her. But for the most part, I'm pretty sure they're left in the dark and not quite sure what has become of their group. So I think they know the least. Well, and then, of course, they had to part ways with Silas, who just got captured by the CRM. So, like, everybody knows different things at this point. Um, so I don't know if this means they'll catch up with Felix and Iris this episode or if they find something completely different. The CRM is out there because they were searching for... Um, will and they're also missing crm soldiers so they could also like we could be playing with time here they could kind of see some fallout for that like they could see some crm soldiers in the area they could get captured because of it anything could happen um but also huck basically said if they were to be found they can't divulge any information they know about like her mission and stuff or that would get them killed she basically had her secret boyfriend save silas but uh, as for Elton, he doesn't really know everything that's happening, and he sometimes can talk a lot, so he gotta be careful, but we'll see um, what he has going on um, in episode 3. Um, and of course, I think Iris is still trying to figure out her battle plan for attacking these people. Silas is in the trenches. I don't know what angle he's gonna play there, and Hope and is... Kind of trying to scout the CRM and kind of see how she can take them down from the inside. And the dad is just very suspicious. And his who he thinks is his girlfriend is actually a spy. So who's just getting information and using him to further herself. And I'm not surprised because that's the CRM way. You use people, you lie to them, you do all types of shady bullshit. But anyway, for one of the reactions are available on Patreon. We're going to see what this episode got for us. Oh, okay. All right, someone has been practicing killing walkers and we're dragging their body for what? This is a lady. That one got flowers over its head. That's you taking the eyeballs out. Okay. Take it, Elton and Percy. I'll probably run into them sometime in this episode. We can still find the lad. I don't think losing Silas's stuff was any kind of omen or anything. Who said it was an omen? Well, we either ditched the bag or we were empty, Trout. If anything, it worked out because we found Teresa like out of the blue. Point is, we're uh, we gaining ground now, so we can catch up to the others, provided. Provided what? That we find them alive, or we find them at all. After what Huck did, odds aren't good. Ooh. The horse is like, what is it? I got places to be, things to do. You know, our mystery uh, friends who like to kill walkers, take out their eyeballs and replace them with flowers. Okay. Huck's out here hooking around. It's your mom's idea, wasn't it? To send you off and not tell me. Nope, it was hers. Imagine what you did, what I did to try and fix it. What did you do? What I had to do to get past it. You don't mean. Dennis' people got hurt. There had to be consequences. I think I have to pay for what happened. What did he do? How's the apples been? They're shaping up. So this new one, big guy, quiet. Has the she knows him. On a resource run. Well, he's in good hands. I, I hope so. Hmm. Hope's making her rounds, keeping her eye on things, watching. Why are y'all sneaking up on these folks? El don't even know what he's doing. He's just following his lead. Like this look homemade. It all shoots her a question mark, but I only see two sets of tracks. These are long. I have to go to fire. And what you gonna do? Overnight. We are not about to pull a heist on these people like you did to them. Finding these two and all their food should be cake. Dude, we don't. Elton doesn't do that type of stuff. Why do they need to do that? They have what we need. Well, we don't need all their food. We need all we can get. You should just ask them what they can spare, all right? They seem like good people. So you, Hawk. 
Turned out she was only good at shooting people. Well, damn. Don't throw that at me. I mean, I can't argue with that. Shit. Hey, wait here. Ellen said, I got this. Percy's like, okay. I can't wait to tell you I told you so. Hi. Uh, hey there. I come in peace. Um, Keep your hands high. You what? Uh, I have a traveling companion, Percy. He's a good guy. He uh, hung back. Well, he's honest, at least. He's clean. I know avoiding people out here is usually a smart move, but um, it's been days since we've eaten. And um, I know this is a bad idea. My brain and my friend both reject it. But uh, looks like my stomach's calling the shots. And my heart may be in line with my stomach, so... What I... the hell are you talking about? <laughs> you, you look like good people. Or you feel like good people. Right. Couldn't find anyone else. Because you, well, you, you look very hard. Food. Lizzie just wants food. Look at that. Good old fashioned asking for help. It works, Percy. Back yourself out. Thank you. I'm Asha. This is my brother, Dev. My name is, uh, Percy. Per uh, no. Percy? You said. No, sorry, I meant to, um. Uh, shoot. Hey! Percy, bruh. <laughs> you got one arm, and you're out here using it to steal. Percy, you blew it. Ellen had a deal with these people. Oh my god. Come on, Percy. Old habits die hard, I see. You about to get Ellen caught up. <laughs> He's like, you're about to kill me over some goddamn turnips? It's not Sergeant Malik. Board has reviewed your covert op inside Omaha on his campus now. Think she was in there for two years? Despite skepticism regarding the means by which you chose to deliver the asset, you did so successfully. You're clear to resume after duty here at the complex. So what does that mean? What is she going to be doing? Oh, God. You got an angry father. Hey, hey. I've been meaning to talk to you. Coming up on I you. I need to talk to you. I think your mother's lying. I think you're lying. That you is what they do. Lying too? They were innocents. And what you did to them, what you took from them, I'll never get that back. You find my daughter. Listen, he, he ain't playing. He want his damn family back. But the question is, is she really going to go out there looking for them? I mean, she seems to have just got back to where she was. Percy, I'm pissed. She ruined this. Those were nice people that were actually just going to give their food. That don't happen very often. This is not they ain't going to ever do that shit again for nobody. Because they're thinking you're trying to con them. But you were. Y'all gonna stop and watch him from the tree? Like they didn't just see which way you went? Don't oh, fuck with these people, they know what the fuck they doing. Shit. I was wondering what the hell y'all was waiting for anyway. Not like y'all parked your horse like a mile away from the damn camp. It was literally right up the hill. Which is exactly why I don't know how the guy didn't find Percy. This is the one day of the week when we actually apply the science you're learning to the state of the world. But perhaps there's another aspect of decomposition you'd be more interested in. Sir, I lived out there in the trenches for like sure? a couple because of days. I, I, I got this. Are you are you busy later? Why? What am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm trapped in this um, goddamn facility no, and the only other option is to leave and go with the water. I don't think they're gonna let me do that, so. A few of us are gonna get together later, take our minds off things, stop. Maybe you'd want to join. Get your ass up. You good? Why are people yeah. fall and want to lay there? I'm going to fall and get my ass right Maybe back else, up instantly. I ain't never fell and just laid there. Ah, oh, shit, y'all done walked on a walker minefield. They about to start rising from the goddamn ground. Get up, Ellen. You steady on the ground. You laying on top of one. Oh, goddamn. You ain't smell that stinking piece of shit in the ground? It ain't smell funny to you? I know it's ass stink. It ain't washed it in a decade. Kick it in the face with your boot. Now y'all done got caught. Y'all lucky these are good people and they probably ain't gonna hurt you. Oh, well, bitch. 
She said, I don't need no goddamn weapons. I got hands and feet. Ooh. Tuffy stitch. Walkers can't bite through it. You did try to rob her. No, he's not. He's not bitten like that. No, 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 no. Look, look, look. It, it's thick clothing. Kids can wear it. Kids can't tear it. That. Shit, don't try to cut my arm off without checking, goddammit. I only got two of these things. She wants your clothing. I mean, you did try to rob her. She didn't want your clothing. You know something, and you're not telling me. You talk, talk too her. much. Talk That's the problem right there. You talk nothing. too much. Well, who else are you talking to? Is she threatening you? No. Did you do no, something no, to See, now, you, now you're being a parent and coming to please. assumptions. My mom does this all the time. Can you do that like, what? for me? That one thing for me, please. Of course I trust you. It was really hard out there. Y'all don't know what hard is. I'm sorry. Okay, it is really The hard. Walking Dead original series is hard. What anybody else has to go through is a fraction as worse as what they had to do. I've yet to see anybody go through, you know, a much yeah. worse experience in the apocalypse than our group. Yeah, They've been out was. here. What happened to study? A lot yeah, of chocolate folks down here. I'm glad a lot of brilliant mm. black people. I'm smart, but science oh, is not no, my no, forte. No. They would not have been oh, me no. down there at all. They wouldn't have been able to use me. Can I show you around? You want to tell us where you're taking us? Well, they wouldn't be taking us anywhere if you wouldn't have tried to rob them, Percy. Well, you should have listened. No, you should have listened. Elton had this. The world's a shit show. You're a shit show. I told you, either we accept it or you die. That's just how it is. No, now we die because you couldn't accept another way. And your toxic area. Um. Sir, ma'am. Not y'all pulling the Fear of the Walking Dead and putting the gas mask hey. on and not giving me one? You got any more of those? I'm hopping out the carriage and running. Y'all gonna be fucked up. What? Sir, what is that gonna do for me? You got whole gas masks on, sir. I'm suing. I know, I just ain't right. But I didn't steal nothing, he did it. How long have you been here? Uh, about three years now. Yeah, I did well on a bunch of tests and uh, ended up here. And. That's about all I can say about it. That's all anyone from there can say about it. Did they tell you not to say anything or because you believe in what I do? A little bit of both, I guess. And you're okay with being away from your family for like, ever? Hmm, not ever. All of us from the CR get to go home for two weeks every year. Ooh, two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what the fuck? In all honesty though, it's a real honor. No. Yeah, I like it here. I mean, I, Soldiers. I guess, but I, how am I only get to go home for two weeks and see my family two weeks out of a year? I don't even my know dad. if I'm going to make the year, let alone, military round. we in an apocalypse, what? It wasn't for me. These are red flags. So, I got to work a year on end with two weeks Stop off? What the hell? The and y'all okay with the shit? Okay. I but mean, I guess y'all don't got a choice. I think. Elton, Percy. Is this the perimeter? We're here. Wait, I never told you my name. Oh, they had, they were looking out for you guys. Oh, okay. So you, <laughs> they were looking out for you. They brought you home to your family. Look at that. All right, they want, they ain't so bad. Okay. Look at that. It's your boyfriend. Last time y'all seen each other, y'all had a date that y'all never got to uh, see through. Our mom runs this place. I always mm. told her how you all got separated. We were just going to bring you here, but when Percy tried to steal from us, we decided to have some fun. You had a real screwed up way out. You shouldn't have tried to steal from them. You ain't really been out there <laughs> like that to have all this damn... Oh, traumatic so stress because I know some damn tires falling over ain't scared you take me to Iris and Felix now Ooh. you're a pretty important person around here I don't know if she can just get you out like that it's been days okay I've been doing everything that you said what the hell have you been doing 
give scars for trolls, so it isn't as easy as you think. I don't give a shit! You're gonna go, and you're gonna take me with you. You can try and warn Felix and Iris, but they're not gonna listen to you! No, they're not. Which boy wants to kill you? Yeah, that's you fair. You need me to go with you. I know you talk to my dad. Okay, and if they don't come back soon, he's gonna start stirring shit up. He already is stirring shit up. Take it all in, Elton. How can our hope just be gone? Oh yeah, that. Did Elton really even have anybody back there? Like, he never really talked about having any family back there. I don't even know who he lived with. He's like the only person we, we don't know, like, what their life was like. Instead, you bring back two more strays? And uh, Omaha. Right. Because Silas lived with his uncle, so who did Elton live with? I left because of what you did. Try to come back from it. And while I was gone, I had to do some things too. Some things I hated doing. But because I left, five people are alive who would have been dead. Does that mean they're alive because of your mistakes? Doesn't mean I should be okay with how things went. But right now, I'm still trying to figure it out. I can't be with you right now. Dennis, I need you to give me the keys and I need you to not ask me why. Destination and reason for departure? Classified business will attend Colonel Cooper. I guess when you're the daughter of the boss, you can get away with those kind of things. Step Sergeant Malik, Corporal Pierce. After you left, I was transferred here to assume your responsibilities. I work closely with Lieutenant Colonel. She's an inspiration. Really? Yes. She is. Drive safely, Sam. Hmm. Thankfully, they have some respect for her, and they're not thoroughly checking anything. I uh, hope we're not causing too many problems by being here. The problems were already here. My mom founded this place before the world changed. Then the CRM came in and offered us supplies to help us live, making those hazard signs, keeping people from finding that research place. That's part of the deal. The flowers and the empty eyes? Some of us think they keep souls stuck between here and the next life. Healing them helps us all move on. Okay. Tell me more about the flowers. That's just my little personal touch. Everybody copes with things in their own way. Any other so. questions? Look, she's so damn happy to see him. You seem different. Oh, she is. She a thug. She out here in the street. She don't even know. Um. Iris Thug Bennett. I'll need your shirt off to clean the exit ramp. Smooth. Or you could. Yeah, that's cool. Uh. I um. I never got a chance to thank you for that night. And you're thanking him right now, right after he takes his shirt off, huh? We aren't in the truck that was. Was it anything? It was. After I hugged it, my uncle, I just... I know. Yeah, that'll be interesting when they uh, reunite. I don't see Percy living through all this because he's probably going to want to kill her. and She's probably going to kill him. I don't know. There's no way I can see them coexisting. Oh, this is... Okay, they're here. Shit, listen. I told y'all. I don't see them coexisting. He gonna try to kill her ass. I, I can't blame him. She doesn't. She won't. Get the fuck up out of here. Hey, okay? Where are you going? Trying to get us back together in a way that's smart. Smart? As you stay here. No. What do you want? Hello. Got to learn. Yeah, they they on some shady shit there. Interesting. Um, I mean it was a okay episode. It was pretty slow. Again, World Beyond is kind of in that moment where they're telling the story very slowly. Um, I feel like I don't know. I feel like. They could cut down some on some of these like CRM scenes that are so long and they could have told the story with Silas and Elton a little quicker. Like, I feel like, um, I mean, they didn't really amount to much. I mean, like, I don't know. Does that make sense? Like they, like the whole him meeting the daughter and the brother, all those scenes were kind of just drawn out just to, that for them to end up there at the perimeter anyway which okay 
that worked out. They didn't really go through anything more that I thought they would. Um, Silas is just kind of in that place. They don't really do much other than kill walkers. Um, but like, I feel like we could have told, told that story within the last two, probably maybe like last episode, like quickly considering like there wasn't even much story there. Like I feel like is getting to that back to season one, like in the beginning where it's like very slow storytelling and we're not going to get to like where we want to get until like probably halfway through again and it's like uh we're back on that slow pace stuff i didn't i didn't see how they could do that but i guess they're really focusing on this research facility and research in my opinion is so boring it's like all this science talk and blah 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 i don't know what they're saying so it don't really matter to me um they're building hope's relationship with this guy but like what does that have to do with thing where's that leading like i don't know felt drug out um, but Hope, no, um, Huck, uh, she has this boyfriend who did something that got a lot of people hurt and killed or something, and she doesn't know quite if she can, I guess, forgive him or if she wants to be with him, but and I guess she left because of what he did and went on this mission, and because I guess she wanted to get away from him and try to help make up for what he did. I don't know. Hopefully that'll be revealed what he did, because it clearly is going to have some significance to the story if they felt they need to bring it up. Um, but yeah, their story is kind of interesting. Um, I, I'm not going to lie, as slow as they tell the stories, I'm surprised Huck and Hope got here so quick. Um, but I'm interested to see like what Percy's going to do next now that he sees her. He's definitely going to try to kill her, but I think it's going to end. It's going to end in him probably dying if. Or leaving and going off on his own because they're not, if they don't let him kill Huck, he's not going to want to stay there. He's going to probably be mad at everybody and go off on his own. And I can, I can bet you he'll get caught. I'm, this is my prediction now. He's going to get caught. He's going to go off on his own. He's going to get caught by the CRM. They're probably going to torture and interrogate this guy. He's going to give up everybody and everything they know about with the Huck and the mission. And it's going to screw everybody over. Because now everybody's reunited, right? Well, except Silas. But everybody's reunited. We're all kind of in agreement. Like, we can't, we can't, you know, tell the CR when we know. They're making, like, a big emphasis on that. We can't tell them about this. So now we got this outsider who does know, who's not really in this pact agreement, who we just probably are going to piss off. He's going to go tell everything, and this is going to get them all caught up and all on the same side. Because I feel like where this story is going is we're really showing the difference between, like, Huck and her mom. And her mom is willing to do whatever. And even if that means, like, you know, disowning her daughter for their CRM, because, you know, her mom truly believes in what they're doing. Like, she was testing Huck. Like, and Huck, I guess, shows the right decision. But what ha what would happen if she didn't? Would her mother really have disowned her? I think she would have. But I think that's what's inevitably going to happen. I feel like Huck's going to choose these guys, our, our, the, our group, over her family just because of the guilt. Because she feels like she put them in this situation. Because she can't live with it. And I think I think all this is going to come into play and things are going to get crazy. And I think they're just setting it all up. But I think in the end, Huck is going to choose the group. But honestly... I don't see them all making it out this series, but I don't think anything's going to get crazy until like probably episodes six, seven, eight, nine, ten, probably the back half, kind of like last season. They're probably just doing, they're doing the slow story building. So, but that's my prediction for what I think is going to happen. I think the dad is going to get really fed up, especially if Hope doesn't come back in a timely manner. He's going to get really pissed off. I can, I can see him dying. Honestly, I can see him pushing the wrong buttons. Whoever this Lieutenant Bale is, maybe talking directly to him, speaking the wrong way, you know, it might get him killed. Who knows? Um, or even him just saying the wrong thing, giving out the wrong information. If Percy don't do it, or uh, Dr. Bennett might. And I, either way, the CRM are going to find out somehow, and it's going to screw everybody over. And they're probably going to try to kill him, and then I don't know how our group's going to survive. Iris wants war with these people, but they don't have the numbers. They don't have the weaponry. I mean, it seems like some folks at the perimeter are also tired of the CRM. I don't know if we're alluding to like using them to fight the CRM, but the perimeter leadership seems to be scared of the CRM and not very interested in a fight. And who knows how well they even hold up in a fight. So 
I ain't seen no guns, just makeshift weapons. So I don't know. And I feel like it would take a lot for like, what's her name, Indira, Indira, whatever her name is, for her to, you know, want to fight the CRM. I, something would probably have to happen to one of her kids or something. And then we really push her over there. But otherwise, how is Iris and them going to fight? They infiltrate, but there's guards literally everywhere. There's card keys to get into places, security cameras. Like, it's like this place is damn near, it's like a mission impossible to try to infiltrate and do any damage. Like, what damage can you do at a research facility anyway? Like, and then there's so many innocent people. There are kids there who are just trying to learn and help. And people there seem pretty good people. It's just like this, the, the military is like the shady part of what's going on here so i don't know and jada still has to play into all of this i don't know i'm trying to predict and make sense of everything i saw but i only got a little bit to work with here um but yeah i think that's where i'm gonna leave it um of course i want to hear what you guys thought um be sure to like comment share and subscribe subscribe to patreon for full and early reactions to the walking dead world beyond and other stuff and I will see you guys for the next Walking Dead World Beyond.